Alright, this is going to be a video chronicling my uh, modifications of a Mead light bridge 12 inch. This is the primary mirror cell. And you can see I've removed the, uh, the ring here, which is this one over here, where the truss poles actually go into. I'm going to take these off. These are the top two for the secondary mirror cell. They go up top. And uh, those are all going to be painted black. These screws here hold these rings in to this through these holes. So if you have a light bridge, that's the ones you're going to want to take out. They're shorty. They'll pop right out. There's six of them all the way around the tube. And then you'll have the ring off. This thing is a little bit trickier, but it's not that bad. I'm going to chronicle how to take these apart. You know, it's obviously these two screws. And then this arrested bolt, which is easy to take off. It's arrested, which means it won't come out, but it's arrested by the threads, so you just unscrew it. Yeah, I'm making a video. You want to be in it? No. All right. Hey, I, I, I should have bet you she gave me these for free. I told you. Oh, she gave them to you? Wow. And you just unscrew. Now you have that bolt with the washer. When you take these screws out, there's going to be two plastic washers inside there. You want to take those out too. And remove the screws, and then you got this to sand down and paint and the aluminum tubes themselves. And I'm going to paint all the rings black. I'm contemplating, debating taking the primary mirror cell off and painting that too. But we'll see. I'm also, in this video series, going to clean that mirror, which you can see if I hold the camera just right, is quite dirty. Never been clear, clean in the three years that I've had it, so it's got no telling what on there. So we're going to do that. I'm also going to rebuild this base. You can see where I've tried to already good buddy of mine is going to help me this coming week build the base which will include front panel, side panels and I'm even thinking of doing some Teflon up under here on the revamp panels I'll also have PVC pole attach it to right there this will be an iPad holder to hold an iPad for star charts or what have you or what have you on the side of the scope so we're going to come up with a compression ring system at two points which if I had another arm I could show you and but we'll see that coming up so there you have it and while I'm doing all of this you know I'm painting all of those parts as well you can see where I've removed the rings from the secondary. Also did some coloring inside there to blacken up that stuff with a marker. And that's how you do it. Also, this scope here will be flocked with uh, some of this material. There's Courtney's feet. This is called Royalty 3 Black Velvet. And according to some tests on CloudyNights.com, um, you're talking light absorption like crazy. Now this is going to be removable inside the OTA itself once I get all that in there and, and good. I'm also going to build a deep cycle marine battery for uh, remote field usage. So we got that. We're going to put that on the inside of the tube where all of the black part is. It's going to increase the light absorption. And uh, it looks like it's going to be good. So this is the first video of my light bridge uh, 12 inch modifications. Expect more updates.
word.